Hi, in this video I'll show you how to convert Julian date. Julian dates can be used in manufacturing operations and or military. The Julian date is very common in astronomy too and this is not the purpose of this video because the Julian date when we're talking about astronomy uh, actually begins in 4713 BC and we're not converting that one. We're basically converting the Julian date where you see the common syntax of the year, maybe it's a two-digit year, and the three-digit uh, day, or it could be a four-digit year and a three-digit day. Basically, what we're saying is, if we take this example, the years is going to be 10, and the days is going to be 001, uh, one day that is offset from the beginning of the year. So how do we create something like this? In this example, where we want to create the two-digit year and three-digit day, we will use a series of functions. And this is going to be using this function, the right. And we're going to take the year. Let me tab that. We're going to take the year off this. And we're going to take the first two characters of the year. I'll complete this formula and then just go through the process of what this formula is doing. First, let's do the formula first. So we have that year that we're going to take out, the two-digit year. Now we need to take out the day and that's going to be joined by an ampersand and we have our year or our date and then minus the date of the beginning or the end of the previous year. So I'll show you what this means when we go through the formula evaluator. So we're going to take the year the, the date function takes three arguments year, month, and day. So we're going to take the year again of this. Whoops. Let me open the parentheses for that. We're going to take the year of this, close parentheses, and then the f first month, and then zero, which effectively means take the day previous from the first day of the, this year. And I'll also show you what that means when we go through the formula evaluator. Press enter, and now you see we have our year. This is 2010, so the, the two digit yy would be 10 and then ddd would be the first of the year. So let's go through the formula evaluator to see what that looks like. Go into formulas and go under the evaluate formula and we can see here this is what the year function does first. The underlying portion is what it, what's the step it's going to execute. So we'll evaluate that. So it gives us back that particular a2 gives us back the serial number format of that date. So 1-1-2010 equates to 40179 in Excel. So it's going to take the year out of that, evaluate it, and the year is 2010. It's going to take the two digits to the right. So from the right is 0 and 1, right? Click evaluate, and so we got our 10. Now this ampersand is going to evaluate, after this is going to evaluate A2, which is our year again, or which is our date again, A2 which is 40179, and now it's going to go into this year function and evaluate that, which is also going to give us 4179. So as 4179 goes into this year function, it's going to figure out the year, which is 2010, and this goes into the state function, 2010, 1, 0. This effectively tells Excel to say, what is the date that is 2009, December, 31st. That zero is what does it. It kind of offsets it back one day. So click evaluate. So that's going to be 40178, right? 40179 is 11 1, 1, 2010. 40178 is going to be December 31st, 2009. So it's going to take the difference of that, which is a 1, which gives us our 1, and now we have the, the joining of the ampersand 101, which is our Julian date in this example. All right, click close, and that's what we have. Double click the fill handle to copy that formula down, and that's for that example. So if we wanted to do a Julian date, which had four characters for the year, uh, that's basically using the year function, and we're going to take this value, and we're not going to put we're not going to put a two on the right. We want the full four digits, so that's what it's going to come back with. And the formula for uh, this part is the same. All right, so we have our a2, which is our year minus date, and that's here. Press tab to open that up, and click on our date again, 
and that's going to be the first month, zero, which of course brings us offset back a day. Close parentheses, press enter. Whoops, I entered too many for this function. Let me see where I needed to put some information in. So let's date year two. Oh, I needed to close off my parentheses here for A2 and then press enter. And now I have my four digits for my year and I have the one for the day. So double click the fill handle to bring that down. And then we have our Julian date where we have the four digits for the year. Incidentally, if we wanted to have leading zeros, you can see that there's no leading zeros here. That's a one here. It's at the last D here. If we wanted to have leading zeros here, we would have to wrap this function, this A2 function, in another function called text. So I type text and open parentheses. You can see the value. This is the value it's going to bring back, comma, and then the format. That's going to be three zeros in quotes, double quotes. So that's double quote open, one, two, three, close double quote close parentheses, press enter. You can see that we have our 10001. If I did the same thing here, you're going to see that same thing. If I wrapped it in text, open parentheses, comma, quotes, one, two, three, three zeros, close quotes, close parentheses, press enter. We're going to have the same thing here, 2010001. -001. But I'm going to keep it simple. Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo and that will give us our Julian dates. Now, what if we wanted to reverse this? We saw a Julian date like this or this, and we want to reverse it. That's actually pretty easy to do. I'm going to add a separate column here. Let's do the reverse of this. What we want to do now is we're going to take the date here, Oops. equal sign, date, open parentheses, and since these, is all, these are all in 2010, I'm going to take the year I'm going to assume 20 and then join left left will be of this value and take out the first two digits or two characters right that's going to be one zero and now I'm going to join it now it's going to be the first month and we're just going to add the days now how many days we're going to add we're going to take we're going to do a mid open parentheses, the text will be this value, B2, and well, the start number. It's going to be the third digit we want to start from. One digit, second, first, second, third digit. It's that last one there, right? And the number of characters, well, 365 days. That's the maximum we have in a calendar. It's going to be three characters, close parentheses, press enter. Whoops, I need to have another parentheses at the end there. Excel has asked if this is okay to do that click yes and now we have our value there go back to home this is in a serial number format I need to turn this into a date so let's go turn that into a date you can see I have my 1 1 2010 double click the fill handle to bring that down and we see that we have our values right now we have this if we have this Julian date here let's call this reverse let's call this reverse we'll reverse this one if I can spell this correctly, reverse. Ah. Now this is going to be similar. We'll put the date here, press tab to open up parentheses. We're going to do left of this value and we're going to take four characters. And we're going to join that now. Or we're going to have the month which is going to be one and then the mid function again. Open parentheses, this value five so we're going to start at the fifth place so 2010 one two three four five is the first starting of the day there so we're going to say five comma and then three of course there's about 365 or 366 days in the year that's three characters so we have our three there close parentheses press enter same thing here oops I forgot to add that other parentheses click yes oops we had the value here what's happened here so we had a mistake here. This wasn't supposed to be D25, it was supposed to be D2. Delete that, press enter. Now we have our date. Double click the fill handle to bring that down. Double click here on the column to auto, to auto fit that width. Now we see we brought back our Julian date as 
human decipherable dates, or more, more commonly known month, day, year format. And that's the way that we can convert Julian dates. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.